So this morning we are at the artist's house in Overstrand. There she is there. And it's right on a very quiet road in the middle of Overstrand. There's the road up there to the top. And then down again to the bottom. There's unrestricted parking on the road. Down there is the Plaisance. I'll tell you about that later when we get out the other side. So there's unrestricted parking to the front of the house and there is a parking space to the rear of the house as well, at the back garden. And there we go, and I will take you in and we can have a look around. So I come in through the front door, into this corridor, and you have two reception rooms off to the left. This one here leads through to a little sort of reading space looks out to the back garden this is a nice quiet spot to relax in and then through here to the main sitting room which has got lovely high ceilings and there's the fireplace and then looking back through the room this way. So the artist house used to belong to quite a renowned local artist called John Midgley. And he lived here for many years, had his studio here, hence the name, the artist's house. And then through here, we have got lovely bright kitchen diner. And this looks out to the side of the property here. So this has all been newly fitted. It's a really cool sort of leather effect stone worktop. I really like that. And again, this looks out to the side of the property. And down here, you have a little utility room. There she is. And a downstairs shower room. There we go. Oh, there I am. Hello. And looking back from the utility room, Behind this door here is secret stairs. I'll show you where they go when I take you upstairs. So let's go and have a look upstairs. Upstairs on the first floor, you've got this fabulous family bathroom. So in here you have a Jacuzzi bath, no less, with colours, so lights that make the water change colour, which is very cool. And this fabulous shell on the wall is actually uh, a radiator, so it, it's a heater. Fantastic heater towel rail and a shower. And off this bathroom, it's the smallest bedroom. This looks out to the back of the house. Still plenty of room for a little wardrobe. And a feature fireplace there. And stairs to downstairs. So this is your little secret staircase, down she goes. So that leads straight down there to the downstairs shower room. back through the family bathroom to the landing. Off the landing you've got two further bedrooms. This bedroom to the back of the house. I love that light. 
right here one of the guests that stayed here commented that it was the most tranquil bedroom she's ever slept in it does feel very much like that and it looks out down to the courtyard another feature fireplace And this final bedroom on the first floor, which is to the front of the house. Love, fabulous window. This used to be the artist's studio originally. So this is where John Ridgely did all of his painting. And there it is now a very nice ensuite shower room of this bedroom. Again, very high ceilings in here. Perfect. And then we'll go upstairs again to the last bedroom. So this is the fourth and final bedroom in the artist's house on the second floor. It's still a really lovely size. This really cool window here, looking out over the bowling green and the road in the front of the house. Turn you around so you can see back in. Still got great ceiling height up here. And it's really bright because there's a lovely big window. And this room has the most fabulous ensuite bathroom. So through here, beautiful freestanding bath. vanity unit and if that wasn't enough you have got this and just the most amazing shower so the shower tray stretches all the way across the whole back of the room and it's got this beautiful central shower screen here a fantastic big rainfall shower head to show it on this little video and it looks out to the back of the house over the garden over the roofs beyond so I will take you downstairs and we can go and have a look outside and you can hear a little bit more of the story so at the back there is lovely courtyard garden area so I'll take you up here first the table and chairs up here barbecue and then you can look back down to the house from there got a great garden shed on the side and you've got two accesses into the house that door down there goes into a really cute little reading room to the side of the sitting room and this door takes you back into the house towards the kitchen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the gate and show you something quite exciting Okay, so at the back, you can see there's a bunch of garages and this area here, you could park another car here or even there at the back of the house. However, that's not what's exciting. This is what's exciting. Down here, you have this gate. It's a locked gate and you have key to get through it. So I'll show you what's on the other side. So here is your gate on the other side, once you come through. 
and you can walk down here past the Plaisance, which is just the most beautiful arts and crafts building, down to the sea. Down here, past these beautiful buildings. And there's the sea, just down there. It takes about, I don't know, two or three minutes to walk down from the house to the beach. Take you down so you can see just how close you are at the bottom of this little path. So here we are, just at the bottom of the path. Here is steps down to the beach. We'll walk you over. This little road leads up to the car park up there. If you've been to Overstrand before, you'll know exactly where that is. That's where there's that great van that does the buckets of chips. because the tide's in. It's a great beach when the tide is out. It's a really lovely beach. And you've got Cliff Top Cafe there. And the Crab Shed. 